In this section, let us understand few definitions of uh, statistics. First, let's uh, focus on definition given by A.L. Pauli. Definition reads like this. Statistics are numerical statement of facts in any department of inquiry placed in relation to each other. So it's a statement of fact and it's a result of uh, inquiry. Okay. So this definition is seen as very limited definition because uh, it focuses only on collection and it ignores the best parts of statistics. That is, it ignores analysis, presentation, interpretation. Okay. Then we also have one more definition from A.L. Bowley where he said statistics may be rightly called a scheme of uh, averages. But this definition also has its own limitation because here the focus is only on average and it ignores various other measures that are available in statistics. Okay, so let's have a look at definition given by Crockston and Crowder and definition reads like this. Statistics is a science of collection, presentation, analysis and interpretation of numerical data from the logical analysis. Okay, it means this definition has four stages. Number one, it has collection of data. Number two, presentation of data, number three, analysis of data, and number four, interpretation of data. Let's see one by one. Now, when we say collection of data, it's actually the first step and careful planning is required. There are different methods available for collecting data through census, sampling, primary, secondary. So, investigator should choose right method depending upon the circumstances. Okay, so that's about collection of data. Then comes presentation of a data. The data whatever collected should be presented in a suitable and concise form so that uh, further analysis can be made. And this can be presented in tabular or diagrammatic or graphic form. Then comes analysis of data. That is, whatever the data that are collected, they should be carefully analyzed. Only then we can do or we can infer something. And this is possible through measures of central tendencies, dispersion, correlation, regression. Then finally, interpretation of data. This is a final step where we are going to draw conclusion from the analysis. And this requires high degree of skill and experience. Okay. So this is what we have understood from Crockston and Crowden definitions. Next, we also have a definition of statistics from Horace Sucrist. And definition reads like this. Statistics is aggregate of facts affected to a marked extent by multiplicity of causes, numerically expressed, enumerated, or estimated according to a reasonable standard of accuracy, collected in a systematic manner for predetermined purpose and placed in relation to each other. Okay, so here the focus is on the facts which are collected, right? So it's an aggregate of facts and it's marked by multiplicity of causes and it's actually expressed in numbers it can be enumerated or estimated according to a standard or reasonable standard of accuracy and it should be collected in a systematic manner for predetermined purpose it's placed in relation to each other so you would agree this is very very comprehensive and exhaustive definition of statistics